Hi everybody, welcome back to Time Predicts and this is another reading. This is from 17th of November to 23rd November, 17th to 23rd. I also keep forgetting dates. So let's see what are the next seven days, uh, how are they going to be for you, what uh, you know, what can you expect in the next seven days, what guidances you need. Remember, uh, I am a psychic, uh, I'm a psychic, I'm an intuitive tarot reader, I'm also a medium, I do intuitive writing and uh, that's how I bring uh, messages to you. And uh, for people who are new to my channel, welcome and I hope you enjoy my reading. Let's start what are the next days going to be, you know, bringing to you or how will they be. I'm also going to include uh, love messages. Let me see. Yes, I can. So let's begin with the next seven days reading. Oh, I see a broken heart. Somebody trying, uh, you know, a crying over a past relationship or somebody, you know, almost heading for a breakup. I see someone, you know, uh, one of you uh, knowing that this is not working out, you know, and this is nine to ten days from now. Though this is this is a seven uh, next seven day reading, but this is uh, you, you know, you're nurturing a broken heart or, you know, your heart is all, already broken by the person. And uh, kind of you're not coming terms to it, but yes, this is a broken heart is what I feel, you know. It's making you feel sad. You've been, you've been, um, you know, um, you, you've been probably crying. Even your tears are, cry you know, you've been crying so much. Your tears have dried up. So this is like second time I shuffled and I saw a broken heart. This is not healing a broken heart, but this is, uh, you know, uh, nurturing or uh, trying trying to heal a broken heart or you know, trying, trying to protect your heart from someone, you know, because it's already broken and you know it, you know, the other person is breaking your heart. So this is a situation that you know, you know, it's not that uh, you do not know why you sad or whatever, you know, your heart is breaking, but somebody is breaking your heart, whatever, in whatever way. But look at this. See, this has also come reverse. This is not a love reading, but this is what's happening. Totally crushed. I, I get the word crushed, you know, somebody's um, crushed your spirit or crushed that you know uh, the way you were and suddenly you become a morose you become really you know crying all the time if somebody has detached themselves from you because I saw this card I saw this reversed also guys um, somebody's uh, uh, you know moved away or not giving you that much attention and uh, that's what's making you really sad i didn't want to start the reading next seven days with this but that's what's happening uh do keep your peace uh, you know keep keep yourself uh, together that's what i want to say meditate uh stop thinking too much because i see somebody who's thinking too much and i feel there's a headache around you know the center of your head or getting in or getting a migraine but this is uh too much tension releasing too much nervous energy you know uh not knowing what to do where to go what's happening sorry this is uh, terrible that happens to my uh, mac um, the noise and suddenly it disappears then i'll have to hold it see third time i took this card out guys this reading was supposed to be given i was not going to make it a love reading uh, firstly i thought let the reading be a love reading then i said no i want a normal seven day reading but there is something not right so i want you to take action you know next seven eight days take action uh, separate yourself from the counterpart you know because this situation is not balanced one person is not coming uh you know out or is not coming is not there for you is not uh, uh, showing any love and you've got to move away from the person you've got to take the action you're the white horse here there's somebody's almost left behind uh, the other person the dark energy i'm going to call it the dark energy uh, it's not that the person is bad or whatever but the energy is not right uh, right now in your life and you got to uh, you got to um, cut that cord you know that attachment and you got to move forward is what i feel yes a lot of things that you hid you know uh, from the world you've been hiding a lot of things the things that the person did to you you know and uh, you've almost you've never uh, blurted them or you've never shared them you've kept everything inside but probably uh, now is the time to talk about it I feel you need to address your emotions that's a big message and maybe that's why I'm here to give you um, the reading the person you're thinking about is not really thinking about you there is nothing the person is thinking about you from from his or her side you know it's almost like you know the person is detached themselves from the situation or from you and i really feel that it's time i feel it's time to uh, move on for you and uh, that's what i feel uh, that's how it's been you know and i feel october has been really a bad month for a lot of people especially in love or otherwise you know a lot of uh, uh, problems and uh, a lot of uh, fights little uh, mini fights i'm going to call them you know no major issues but fights for the sake of it so i i really feel uh, you got to, uh, November is going to be a better month, like the end of November. And uh, we're doing 17 to 23rd. So let's see. See, I, I'm telling you, you're going to move on. 
so this is uh, because it started with love i'm going to uh, keep that uh, theme on uh, continue that but i feel if you're in a job if you want to move or if you really want to move out from a situation i get a toxic situation could be at work guys so this is the time where you need to move out and there, there is movement you're going to suddenly realize there's movement in your life and it's pushing you out it's either from a relationship or uh, you know uh, from the work that you're doing but this is basically remember i told you October wasn't really nice. This is the card that I got in my hand. Look at this. Look at all the swords. I mean, somebody's thoughts, somebody's words, somebody's actions were called, you know, look at this. The piercing was happening from them. Piercing words or hurting words or, you know, the way they were talking to you and... Uh, that's how that's how you felt could be your boss also could be a situation you know where um things really didn't go right and the way they were speaking to you uh, was not really right so there is action coming in you have to do something about it you have to get up and do something about the situation this is you you got to address it more speedily you know you cannot spend more time uh, on it lying down or something but you have to attend this speedily there is there is also some good news coming to you in the next seven days uh if you've been hassled if you've been worried about something things were go not going right but next seven days i think things will be much better uh, for you there's also some kind of an important information coming towards you remember the uh, main word here is uh, speedy there is something happening speedily it's either you're going to break off speedily or you're going to move on from this job situation speedily or whatever you're going to do you going to, it's it's on you to take action you know it is it is in your hands i also get the word uh, i also get the letter s s for sun uh, so I get, I don't know if your name begins with S or something to do with the company you're working or the guy or the girl you're seeing, but S is an important letter for you. Yeah, you got to move because there are better things waiting for you, especially money. Money. I do not know why I hold this card. You know, I feel you've been begging for something. You know, have you been begging for money, love or something? I'll get the word begging. Is it for love? But it's going to change in the next seven days. So um, sorry if the Mac makes noise, I'm going to hold it back again. Um holding something holding something back you're holding something back yeah i have to hold that there is there is uh, there is a channel message in that that you're holding something back second time i took out the card this is movement this is after seven days you've got to move out from where you are you know or you've got to move on also that's another message that i get please start moving on uh, this is not what you know it is this is not the end of it is another message that i get let, let us go to uh, one one car uh, one one day you know uh, you know let's address one one um card uh, for one one days from 17th to 23rd sorry i'm still holding the mag yeah 17th said look at this 17th is let go let go of the situation let go of the worry i told you this is this is answer from the angels let go of something that doesn't belong in in your life and that that starts from 17 let's see what 18th is i'm shuffling the cards here because I'm holding the uh, the end key of the laptop, otherwise there's a problem. So 17th was that, 18th. 18th is trust. Trust the universe, trust yourself. Whatever decision you are taking will be good, guys. Do not worry. This is you. Just trust the process. Trust whatever is happening in your life is happening for the best. Maybe it had to happen. Maybe uh, this is the time. This is the time to address problems or this is the time to move on or this is the time to understand the situation. Let's see what uh, we've done. 17th, 18th, 19th. 19th in the near future so there is good news in the future you're going to rise rise above the ordinary there is good news in the future things are going to be better in the next in, in in the near future then the near future could be like very soon or could be like a weeks away but um, somebody's going to help you pull you know uh, pull you out from this situation look at this the angels are there i just want you to trust the universe this is a big message that i get so 17, 18, 19, let's go on to 20th, 20th opportunity. Yes, new things. I told you there is movement, guys. And the angels are saying yes to it. So they're also giving you the same answers. There's an opportunity. Do not miss it on the 20th. Look at this money coming in, abundance, happiness. I feel happiness also. Just open your arms and, you know, receive all the happiness and love. Do not close yourself to new things. That's what I feel. Let's see what 21st brings you, 21st. 21st is perfect timing, beautiful cards guys, perfect timing to do something, to approach a person, to uh, change your job, uh, this is this is uh, divine timing and this is uh, angels uh, helping you do the perfect things, you know, or, uh, you know, give you the perfect timing, maybe opportunities or whatever, 22nd, let's see what's 22nd and 23rd, one card for 22nd here, one card for 23rd. 22nd look for a sign i told you this is unit this is universe working with you that's why i was uh, you know almost getting this thing of doing a uh, 
doing uh, this this reading right now you know and i was like i have i have to give these uh, you know uh, guidances right now because that's what i'm getting pushed into and i took a break from work and i'm just doing this so look for a sign guys sorry i'm having my tea also and I love tea and I can't do without it. So uh, 22nd, look for all the great signs. Heaven is going to give you, you know, it's going to come like lightning. I was doing a reading and I told somebody, I said, it's going to happen in a snap of a finger, You in a blink. And the moment you blink, things will change for you. And this is beautiful. Let's see what 23rd is. Be assertive. So do not give into the situation. Sometimes, you know, we know the situation is bad for us. And the person sweet talks or says something or even in the job promises something. But what happens is later on, it's the same. So please be assertive. If you've made a decision, stick to that decision. Okay, don't uh, keep uh, changing it because this is an important time for you. Next seven days could be a defining week for you. Could be an important week for you. Things, you know, uh, will change. Uh, there'll be a change in um, the way you see things or, you know, or what you give up or what you keep in your life is totally up to you. Remember, and I got this card again. In the near future, somebody's going to come out to help uh, you know come and come come and help you you know somebody even you might not even ask for the help but somebody's going to come towards you to help you let's see one more card one more card i think one more card belongs imagine this i shuffled and this came out there is movement in the next seven days see you're going to be in control if things were not really in your control you're going to balance them see we saw a lot of black and white i think you've used these words you know it's not all black and white there are more shades to things you know there are more colors it's not always the way the way it seems so these are all your thoughts coming into my head and there is movement there is chariot but more importantly this is in control of your situation that's what i feel and uh, there's a victory over a situation or a problem it says it's also going to balance opposite opposites you know if you've been in a very bad situation or you know you've been with a person you can't really um you can't balance the whole thing and you're two extremes but there is something that's going to happen and you're going to balance uh balances balance it out so that's beautiful thank you so much guys for listening to this reading this is a short one but at least you got the guidances that you needed or probably wanted so in the end i'm al always going to say that do what you think is right in your situation please remember because these are guidances uh you uh, control your destiny you control whatever you want to do in the situation so uh thank you so much and i'll be back with another reading and i sign off bye bye guys have a great day